hello guys and welcome to this presentation where we are going to be um talking about the pseudo ai we have created for our javascript course um actually for somewhere around beginners to pre-intermediate level javascript developers so let's just get started and see how it works okay um, um so hello young lady what's your name my name is anita okay so anita we are having a presentation with um, audiences on social media could you tell us what do you do i am a pseudo ai built by dr zeno to make things easier for developers amazing so you are built by dr zeno do you know medicine yes i do being built by a doctor i know a bit about medicine what would you like to know Wow, Anita, that's pretty bold. You are asking me what I would like to know. Okay, could you tell me a bit about anatomy? Human anatomy is the study of the structures of the human body. An understanding of anatomy is key to the practice of medicine and other areas of health. Okay, how about physiology? Physiology is the study of how the human body works. It describes the chemistry and physics behind basic body functions. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to ask you something that will probably be too advanced for you. Um, um, what is pediatric severe combined immunodeficiency? Apologies, but I don't have enough data to answer this question at this time. Oh, I thought you you were you were you know very bold to ask me what do I want to know. Anyway, let me just teach you. And the plan is that, or the hope is that, in the future. You will be able to learn on your own and you know use the knowledge you have to you know create solutions not just for developers but for people in various other sectors okay anyway severe combined immunodeficiency is a um, syndrome a life-threatening syndrome and syndrome actually means that it has a number of symptoms inside of it so those symptoms include recurrent infections diarrhea dermatitis and failure to thrive okay um, the long and short of what it does is that it would um, reduce the number and functions of T cells, B cells, and some natural killer cells, and it's fatal. Okay, it's not good. All right, so basically that's it. Uh, maybe I should come down a bit to your level. Um, do you know the treatment for malaria? Malaria is a disease that is spread by the female Anopheles mosquito and can be treated by artemisinin-based combination therapies. Hmm, finally, Anita knows something. All right, let's switch a little bit. Anita, who is God? The person of God means different things to different people. Christians call him Father and believe in the person of Jesus. Muslims call him Allah. Several other religions in the world call him different names. That's about it, Dr. Zeno. Nice, nice. Anita, will AI take over the world? I don't think that is possible, Dr. Zeno. Yes, there has been some advancement in AI, but AI taking over the world is just a big joke pushed by those who don't really understand programming. Hmm, amazing. Okay, let's talk about some current affairs. Who is the President of America? The 46th and current President of the United States is Joseph R. Biden. He was sworn in on January 20, 2021. Mm. Okay. Who is the President of Nigeria? Muhammadu Buhari GCFR, born December 17, 1942, is a Nigerian politician who has been President of Nigeria since 2015. Okay. Anita, concerning the President of Nigeria, is he doing well? Um, me, I don't want to say anything, oh. Make DSS no carry me tomorrow. Ah, Anita, you too, the fear. Okay, Anita, one, one last thing before we go. Um, there's this trend on Twitter, cut soap for me. What does it mean? Cut soap for me is a recent trend in Nigerian Twitter, which means, show me how you are making it. Some people, however, use it to whine others. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Show me how you're making it. Anyway, um, Anita, I think we've come to the end of this presentation. Why don't you say goodbye to our audience? Thank you for watching this presentation. Don't forget to visit xenotrustacademy.com and purchase our JavaScript course. Goodbye and have a great day. 
all right thank you so much guys for watching the presentation i will see you in another one